Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick video to show you how to check if you've been hacked and that there's some kind of activity from somebody else on your Facebook account. It's something that a lot of people ask themselves. Sometimes they're wondering if there's some kind of weird activity, if somebody else might be using their account. Maybe it's because you've had posts that you didn't write that actually show up on your timeline or uh, Facebook Messenger messages that were sent without you actually sending any messages. Well, if that's the case, or if you just want to make sure that everything is all right, head on to your Facebook account. On the upper right corner, on the blue bar, you'll see that there's a little down arrow. Click there. Go into Settings. And here, go into Security and Login. In here, you will have the activity of where you logged in and where you logged in in the past uh, hours and days. So there's a short activity. First of all, it tells you right now that I'm actually on my Facebook page and active now with Edge browser, which is fine. It's exactly what I'm doing. It also tells me that 43 minutes ago, I did log in with a Chrome browser, which is also okay on a Windows PC because I was on my Windows 7 machine. Now, you want to see more, you can click more, and more will give you a bigger list of when and how you've logged into different services with your devices. So now it tells me about an hour ago, I was on um, Messenger with my Galaxy S9 Plus phone. Um, then four hours ago, it says that I was also on Messenger um, in Montreal, which is, yeah. Sometimes you might not recognize, you know, like here it says JTY. Um, this, for some reason, because my Samsung Galaxy S9 tells me I'm there when I'm on my LTE connection, but when I'm on my Wi-Fi, it actually says JTY, and I really have no idea why. But it actually confirms, you know, and I can confirm that it was me. So, you know, sometimes if you can't recognize exactly what it says, you can actually at least check, have you been there four hours ago? Or if you've not been there four hours ago, then you might actually start asking yourself questions. So who asked, you know, or who went to my Facebook account or Messenger account at that time? So what about, so if everything's all right, you're okay. If something's wrong, so what about you got there and you're like, well, I don't recognize these things and I don't recognize that place and I've not been using Facebook at that time or Messenger at that time. Well, the best that you can do when that happens is, of course, go to your security and login and change your password. So just below the where you've logged in, you'll see that there's login and it says change password. You can simply click the edit button on the right side and you just enter yourself a new and very complicated password to make sure that they can't access. 99% of the time, just changing your password actually prevents hackers from getting back into your accounts because that way of getting in there is simply because you have, uh, they know your password. Now, if you want to have extra security, and I strongly recommend that you guys do this, it's to use two-factor authentication. So here you see it's turned on because I use two-factor authentication. What that means is if you actually have um, want to stay safe, what happens is that you can have a code sent either by text messages or a code that will be sent by uh, with an auto authentication app. So you can actually use Microsoft Authenticator, the Google Authenticator app, and have that authentication done through an app instead of a text message. And that will, of course, make your connections much safer because if somebody tries to connect from an unusual place, it will immediately want you to actually give a authentication code that only you know. So it will really, really lock down your account. 
If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.